All right, I figured I'd show this fan running on the Fanimation Learning Remote. I'm not sure if I showed the 150 with the Learning Remote, or like, I'm running on each speed. But I'm gonna show it running on each speed, fast, medium, low, and also running each speed with the remote as well. So like, I'll have it on the low, just protein running on low, and have it on each speed with the remote. Just to show you guys the type of speed you can have on it. Although, although I always use it with had a phone screen set to high, just to control it by the remote at night time. Basically, I use this remote only at night time when I'm in bed, so I don't have to get up and change, pull on the chains. I can just stay in bed and just change the speed of the fan from there. But um, yeah. However, the light on this fan has some issues. With, well, not on the fan, but with the remote. Um, like when you're just trying to turn off the light, it will turn off the fan as well. So. Well, I'll just show it to you guys what I mean. Um, I basically have this Defenimation Learning Remote right here drilled in right here to the side of my bed frame. And it's perfect for me. I don't have to... Oops, sorry. Chair was in the way. I don't have to, um... Like, it's not drilled into the water. I have it right there, so I just... I don't have it on a table or anything. It's right there, so I can just tap the button while I'm in bed, and it's perfect. So, um, yeah, this is... Definitely gotta thank Tom for giving these out to everybody who wants to animation in the fall. So I really appreciate it. Um, so, um, yeah. It did the same thing with the Infinity. I thought it could have been something with the Infinity. I maybe, I didn't know if I wired it wrong, but um, did the same thing with this one. So here's the light. I just have the light turn on and the fans off. But um, I can basically change like the dimness of the, I can't really dim it with the, well I kind of can dim it right here, but it's not really doing anything. So holding this button down, it's not dimming it. But um, so it's basically on high right now. Let me shut it off. So I can just turn on this fan speed and it'll turn on the light. I'll do it again and it'll dim the lights a little bit. But when I press the medium button, put it on the low one and it's even more dim. It's nice, but I kind of wish I can do it with the control itself. I don't know if it's the control that's messed up or the receiver, but um, let me just put it, just put it back there. I'm gonna run the fan on high for a quick second with the light. I'm just gonna shut it off. So it shuts off the, if I press the light, it'll turn on the light and fan. I shut it off. If I press the light button, it'll turn on both of them. Press it again, it shuts off both. I press the low button, it'll turn on the fan and light on low, but the light will be very dim. If I press the medium button, there's something similar. Go moves fan up to medium, but the lights will be very dim as well. Press high, it put it just draws full power to the fan and light. So I'm not sure what it is. Um with the with the light off, I can control the um fan just fine. It does the same thing with the speeds. Move it up to medium and low. But um, if I have it like on low, so it's on low right now. If I press the white button, I move the fan straight up to high, which I find a bit strange. I just feel like if the white chain was turned on, it should just turn off the white and not the um, whole entire fan. So um, yeah, it's something I find a bit strange. Um, yeah. All right, so here's high. Not really. Let me just stop it. So it'll start off on low. And some, they did, from what I know, there's been something saying that like, oh, you should not put a receiver on hugger fans, especially these types. That is true somewhat. However, if you can get the receiver like against something so it won't hit against the motor, you'll be fine. That's what I did for this one. I actually just taped the receiver to this control to, like on top of the motor housing on this fan like right there i'm not even standing on anything i'm actually just moving my arm up all the way as much as i can so 
Yeah, the ceilings are a bit low in here. I really call it eight ish feet. It's low for me in, in a way compared to my old bedroom at the old place. So, yeah, I definitely need to have a fan flush around in here. If I can touch the blades, just if I even have to get on my tippy toes. So, yeah, if I hung any lower, that would definitely be an issue. So, um, yeah. So, I'll just do low. I also just want to show you guys how slow it can go. Like, if I pull the chain too low, and just how slow the low speed is. This will happen, right? Just might as well show it to you guys. I've only used it like very slow once. Like on, um, I had it like set to me, the pull chain set to medium, and I use it like even slower than low, just because it was very cold one night, but I just need some sort of air movement. And it, it is pretty handy when I have it set like that, but. All right, there's low, medium, Medium goes pretty fast. Doesn't really show. Doesn't look that fast on camera, but I'm um, in person. It's actually, it's almost like the high speed of the brass overflow that was in the living room. And here's high on the remote, which is basically the high speed of the fan in general. The fan does a great job cooling down the room. It's actually just the amount. It moves a little bit less than the Infinity, but it's a lot quieter since the Infinity has some very noise, and it also. It would hum a bit when I had it on high speed. The living room one does the same thing, the brass one, but it's in the living room so I don't really care if it hums a little bit. If it's the bedrooms where I need a fan, it's more quiet. So let me shut off the fan. Pull the chain to medium, and now let's start moving to low. Try to show it to you guys how it runs on each speed. So um, yeah. In fact, if I have it like this on medium, it might be the same speed as the brass over file, so. Low speed on it, the low speed it has right now is actually very, basically exactly how the brass one was. So let me go ahead and move it up to medium. On the remote. It's similar, it could be the same low. I don't think the high will be exactly the same with the other one. It was just a tiny bit slower than this, but you never know. And now it won't be because um, it will just be medium when I put set it to high on the remote. But yeah, the brass one I wish it ran a bit slower than this one, so I have a feeling it, the cap is starting to go bad on it. Although when I when I saw the video of it from years ago, it was already like that. But that, I just assumed the rope files just ran a little bit slower. I only saw one go as fast as this one is. The first time I saw one, the this generation, the United one go as fast as this one is when I saw Little Pete's video. Of the white one he got that he sold to Keith Kyle. So yeah, there's medium on the remote while the fan set to medium itself. Now for high, which is medium. Basically, just want to show you how slow it can go on each speed. It does have a very nice low speed if you have the poetry set to low. Kind of like a low speed like that you see like on the demo mode or something like that. Yep, it's just based on the medium speed. Right. Shut off the fan. Pull it chain to low. And now it's set it on low with the remote. I never use it like this. I've only used it like on medium with the pull chain. And I only had it to fan to the medium pull chain once. And that was like when it was very cold. I never really reverse the and pull off all the pictures in the room. But I like to feel the air hitting me as well. So um, yeah, there's well with the Approaching such low speed. Combined with the remote. You know, I actually might as well have it like this sometimes. Maybe like when I'm not home. This will move somewhere in the room. But I usually just leave it off because the room is usually nice and cool anyways. But yeah, it's a low speed with the remote. But it's a pull chain set to low and the remote set to low as well. So it gets a very nice low. And I feel some air. Very little, very little, but um, it's nice to look at. Now for medium, medium on a control that is. Just to be sure it responds. 
not that much of a difference, but it's whatever. It's actually, you know, that dark outside, start, the sun's starting to go down a little bit. But on the sister rooms, it's a little bit dark. I only have windows that are right behind me. Which is why I'm recording in this angle. From this position, that is. So, um, yeah, there's well, there's medium speed while the fans on, what the chain, pushing on the fans set to low. Now for high, which is just the fan actually on low, so, um, yeah. I just figured I'd show you the, vi the variation of the speeds as well. Like what the pull chain sets to different speeds and controlling it with your remote just to see, just to show you guys how it is and such. From what I know, I don't think it will mess up a fan, but like, it's just better to like have it set to high so you can have the, actual, the correct speeds, like the actual, so it can work, blow the amount of air that it should be. Let me, let me shut it off. Right now the fan's off itself. But yeah, I can't dim the lights. Um, I'm actually not sure these. I'm pretty sure these LED light bulbs they put in it were dimmed, were um, dimmable, but I could be mistaken. But it's medium with the lights. Well, see so yeah, the fact that I can control this, the. The, um, how much light gets off just by the speed, I find that a bit strange. But just the weight, you know, ways. So. You know, just show it on high quickly so you can hear air movement. I usually use it on high or medium mostly. So I like to be nice and cold. It, Nice and cool at night. If I get cool cold, I just wrap myself up for a second blanket, and that's it. But I don't. I mean, it moves enough air that it gets cold in here. But I don't really need something too powerful in here because this room's gonna be nice and cold, anyways. Plus, I have a fish tank right here, which I don't. So I kind of had to take them into consideration. It moves pretty good there. It's honestly just as much as the fans in the front area, even though those are both flush mounted the Infinity and the Passport 2, but um, they hang, they hang down just a tiny bit lower just because of that size of the housing. The Passport 2 hangs down the lowest. Um, yeah, the airflow on this is basically the same almost, just a little bit less. But for a bedroom, it's more than enough. It's a pretty fast fan, especially for a hugger. Although the 80 one, the 80s ones are a lot more faster than these. But, um, yeah. I'll shut it off and do spin now for those who haven't seen the video of it before. I've been using this every single day since I've installed it. And, for some, and I'm actually pretty surprised that there's really no dust accumulating on the blades at all. Very little, to be honest. Whereas the other two, the Password 2 and the Infinity, I've actually had to clean twice already since I've installed the Infinity in this one. However, it is, it's a little bit dirty up front, mostly because of the, the birds, so yeah. The Infinity actually has a little bit of dust on it, since I kind of glued that on all day on low speed. Same thing with the Password 2. But I figured this one would have more dust since I use it on high, but... You know, it's a good sign, at least, to, in my opinion, since it tells me that my bedroom's not clean but it's not dusty and such but, um yeah my mom's doing her in the bathroom so yeah she has a bathroom dressing room on medium so still find it surprising that she's she's actually happy that i put up a bath a fan in the bathroom but, um yeah the bearing noise that the bathroom dressing room has was basically the same that the infinity had when I had it installed in here, the white one. If it was quieter, I probably would have kept it up, but um, at the same time, I kind of wanted to have a hugger in here because I've always wanted to have a hugger fan in my bedroom since I was a kid, especially a white one with a spotlight kit. But more specifically, a low profile I've always wanted to have in my bedroom as a kid ever since I, the one nearby me, which I've done videos at many times in the past. I remember seeing the white one before. First, they had like a minuet too, the, bra the Satan Brass one running, it was actually running, that was the last fan I saw that was actually working in the store, like on display. 
they took it down and then they moved the digital profile to the back of the display and then they removed it so yeah it was a pretty sentimental fan to me well these are pretty sentimental fans definitely my favorite hugger fans in general so yeah i'll just show it on reverse quick well, actually not i've already shown it on reverse but at the same time some of the pictures i need to actually read i need to um Starting to loosen up this grip due to the fan. Sometimes, also, sometimes I just need to put new sticky stuff on the back. But um, yeah. So here's the GoPro file on the fan animation and remote. If you guys have any idea what was making the remote act up this way, if it's a receiver or not, just let me know. But um, it's not really a big deal to me because I just use the, fit, the remote to change the speeds at night, which it does just fine. So, but just curious as I'm just curious as to what is the issue. So um, yeah. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.